Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about low voltage uh, tools, to to well, really telecommunications. So that's like Comcast and AT&T tools. And you can also use this for like uh, your, your ethernet hardware, your, what else? Your security cameras, things in that nature. That's really what I do on the side. So I have it both in a little Dewalt box and a little Milwaukee box. I'm just gonna be showing the tools. If you're curious about how these things work or if you have any questions about it, just go ahead and leave it down below. But anyways, let's just get started. So the top one on the Milwaukee box, since it's small, I'll put like all the little things that I feel like I'm gonna grab at more often or go ahead and use more often when I'm out in the field. Anyway, so I, I go ahead and carry this right here, this little small little bit set, a little screwdriver set. So the reason why I use that is because usually I'm installing cameras and when I install cameras, I don't know whether I need an Allen wrench or if I need a, a some some sort of screw tip, you know, sometimes a star, random bits, you know? Anyway, so I carry this just because it usually has it. And since it's so small, I'll go ahead and put it in my pouches on my back, my back pocket. And it comes in handy just to adjust these uh, cameras. Uh, another thing I have in here is a little snake. So this snake really comes in handy whenever you're running cables from the outside in, because yeah, a lot of times you can't reach those small corners or you just, for whatever reason, you just can't get it to the end of the the edge of the house in the attic. So what you do is you go ahead and feed this from the inside or from the outside inside, have a little string attached, and then you can go ahead and just grab that with a, a, fishing, uh, a fishing rod. Uh, I'll show you the fishing rods in a bit. But anyways, next thing I have is a fluke. Well, not a fluke. Uh, well, I call it a fluke. I think it's called a toner. So... Again, this is my toner. Nothing fancy. I actually got this from Comcast. That's the actual toner. And inside is the other, the other half of the toner to help me locate cables whenever I'm outside. So there you go. I got that. Uh, I got crimpers for coax cables. Always go with John R with the crimpers just because they feel good in my hand. I've yet to, I've used these Klein ones and I honestly don't like it just because it's just weird. I got to adjust it like that. Like, I don't even know what that thing's for. So yeah, whenever somebody comes out and helps me, I, I go ahead and pass that one on and I use this one because this one has a, a BNC, BNC adapter. Again, if you have any questions, just leave it down below. And this is a, a coax stripper. See, this is actually the older one I had. I got this one from Comcast as well. So you just go ahead and just pass it through right there. I actually got a little bit of coax cable left inside of there. This is the new one I just got. Thing has, honestly, I've never even used this part. I don't know how to use that part, but you know, when it when when I feel like I need it, I got it right there. Also has a little thing right there, so I can go ahead and. Well, if you if you ever work with coax, you know what that's for. Anyways, this right here is a little. Uh, it's a single gauge and double gauge template. So when you want to make a hole and you want to just for your new uh, outlet box or something like that, or a little where you're going to be pulling cables through and you want to make it straight, you go ahead and pull this out and you see it has a little level in there so you can mark it off right in your wall. I think it comes in handy for sure. Uh, I got little wood bits in here. I got concrete bits, but I got it in my other, my other big box, my D wall box is down here. Oh, I got another Klein tool right here. This is a Ethernet uh, crimper. So let's see, I got for uh, for regular Ethernet cords and telephone lines. And it has a little graph to show you how the cable is supposed to be like. This thing comes in real good handy and it's a good form factor. <laughs> yeah, that. This is a little phone. I'm really not gonna show you that just cause it's not that important. I, I hardly ever use that. And I got more bits. But yeah, this is really your basics. This is really what you would, uh, if you're just deciding to get into like Comcast or if you want to work in uh, AT&T, or AT&T would be a little bit different. I think they use fiber optics, so you would have to get fiber optic tools. But if you want to work with Comcast, this is all you really need. Or if you want to install cameras, or if you want to go work for a low voltage company, you can go ahead and get some of these tools and you already be a little bit ahead of everybody else. Not ahead, but at least up there, you got your own tools that you need. Now the next one, I'm just gonna pop it open just so you can see what I have. I'm just gonna pop this one open just so you get an idea. Yeah, see, I need a, 
I need to really organize this thing right here, but I got, I got a little face plate for these junction boxes because sometimes, you know, sometimes you need to install a camera somewhere and you just need to cover up the hole because it's so big or whatever reason. Or maybe you just can't see, you know, over the overhang of the house. So you have to get that little two inches on there. Uh, this thing comes in handy. Definitely needs some pulling line. Everybody figures out. I'm actually gonna stop using PVC. I'm gonna start going. I don't even. I don't think this thing. Called, this thing is called PVC. Uh. Anyways, I, I don't think I'm gonna use this anymore. I'm gonna go straight metal. I just got the the bend bar, so I'm gonna try that out. And I just got little 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 screwdrivers here and there that come in handy. You'd be surprised how much this would come in handy. This this little flathead screwdriver that's just long, and this piece right here. So I can go inside of a wall and just pull out the coax or ethernet cable, whatever I have in there. And then I got just random things in here. I got to really organize this. Another junction box. Uh, anyways, yep, I got, that's a big old mess I got in there. I got these two right here, my Milwaukee pack out box. And my last box that I'm gonna be showing you is a Husky box. And this thing is really beat up, really dirty because I just throw this thing in and out the truck all the time. So yeah, I got little conduit, um, conduit clamps. I got little cable holders. I got oh, more clamps, some more cable holders. These things really come in handy, honestly. And if not for the actual cable holder, but for sometimes I just use it for the the screw. Oh look, see, I got one of these too because these things always come in handy. Barrels. I got a short barrel right now on my gun, but. And the other side, if you work with Comcast, you need you always need to carry these Mocha filters because those X1 boxes will not work without it. And just a bunch of different coax sizes. This is really the one that everybody uses inside their home. These other ones, no, that's another Mocha filter. These other ones right here with the rubber fittings, that's for outside. Always remember that. I got a little ground blocks because. You know, you got to ground off your equipment outside. I thought I had some Ethernet um, jacks here, but I, apparently I don't. But yeah, that's uh, that's really all it is. When you want to work in telecommunications or low voltage, you go ahead and get yourself some of these tools. Like in my other video, I showed you all you really need is a bucket, a screw gun, tape measure, maybe some snips. Telecommunications, obviously, obviously it has its own needs, but... Yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you if you like what you saw, please let me know. Uh, like and subscribe. If you know me, leave a comment down below too. And yeah, stay tuned for the next video.